So welcome everybody to this uh, vegetarian cooking class. And we're doing this to, to raise funds for the Community Wildlife Fund. Um, so I'll keep it short. So I'm going to introduce uh, Nira and Andy, who are from the Community Wildlife Fund, and they'll say a few words. And then we'll, we'll get straight into the cooking. Hi, everyone. I'm Nira. Hi, me. I'm Andy. And um, Ashni, thank you so much. And whoever is joining the class, uh, we've raised, Ashni, have raised 580 pounds and 19,500 Kenyan shillings. That's about close to 100,000 Kenyan shillings, which is wow. Thank you. Let's start cooking. Mm, yeah, let's start cooking. Okay, great. We're going to start with the, with the tomato sauce. If you can get um, your blenders ready or, you know, if you're using a food processor, then get that ready. Okay, so that's all the ingredients for the dressing now. So what we're going to do is if you can just uh, blend it until all, all combined, right? So your uh, peppers should be now almost cooked. And then we're going to add the aubergine at this stage. You can see the baby spinach, the leaves are quite small, so it really works quite fast. Okay, so we've got the filling ready now. So I'm going to switch off um, this because the filling is done. So we're now going to move on to the most exciting part, which is the dessert. Sorry, just to check, it was 120 grams sugar and 250 grams mascarpone only in that bowl, right? That's right, yes. So you can see the consistency. And the tiramisu is in the fridge, so that's going to be setting for another, you know, two hours before we get to eat it. Um, yeah, you all enjoy the food and I hope you all enjoy the cooking. And thanks for all joining in. And thanks for supporting me and thanks for supporting the Community Water Fund. Um, Nira, Andy, did you want to say a few words? No, we just want to say thank you very much for giving us, um, doing this for us, putting in time. And to everyone who joined in, like, thank you. Um, yeah, and the saying is right, food brings people together. Yeah, definitely, food brings people together. 